Just following oh, our next players. Yeah. Um, and uh, got them up. We'll be ready to rock as soon as the game start, everybody. But yeah, and uh, anyway, couldn't agree more. And I think he, I think he liked the advice. I think he knows that to be true. But he's just often he's grabbing a chess game in between stuff where he just doesn't take the time to like learn from the game. It's more just. I think it's, it's just, just content, fun, right? Because you know? it's like it's more boring to analyze a match than to be yeah. in a match. And it's mm -hmm. also more boring to do a longer match, would pro which would probably be like better to play in the same environment you're going to play in the tournament. Right. As opposed to like a three minute blitz, which is like, you mm -hmm. know, it's, it's just like you're not even thinking. You're just like making moves, um, which can help like to play fast, but it's not going to help when you do your 10 5. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I think again, it's for XUC, he plays so many games with so many of these different things that it's, it's, it's tricky. Um, mm -hmm. But what I will say is that I did, I do remember watching him play chess during that brief boom. And I think 2018, like November. And when he played Forsen, he was just like losing without it even being a game. And I think yeah. if he played Forsen now, he would still probably lose, but it would not be where it's just like, there's no understanding or just getting blown right. off the board and like being down a queen on, on the 10th move. It's an actual game. Not like a, like a, wash. by the way, it looks like, right. Mountain didn't realize, meaning uh, Hofdor didn't. Oh, the realize mountain's that... playing the hillbilly gambit. We got the hillbilly. The hillbilly. Walk me through the line. He's playing that because okay, he so plays the... in Italian, Hikaru. But yeah, go ahead. Sorry, wait. What's he normally plays oh, the play... Italian, and so that's why he did that. He's not actually trying to play the hillbilly. <laughs> I pr I promise. Okay. Okay. Anyway, yeah. So it, this is the same opening of Ludwig as Alaskan. The Karo Khan black pushes yeah. two pawns in the center. Mm -hmm. Um, and XUC played knight f3 d5. So he goes bishop c4 d5 and retreats the bishop. Right. And um, and so this is a gambit because now black can take the pawn for free on e4. Okay. And so it was actually just the Italian, but he got scared and backed off, and then it looked like the hillbilly. Well, this yeah, is a real... But then yeah, it ended up being the hillbilly anyway. I see, I see, I see. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I well, but you call it an, a hillbilly attack because you gambited one pawn. Why is it hillbilly? Just I the name of it. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> I feel like it's... some sick dude from Kentucky who changed the game <laughs> that we don't know about. I, I don't know either. Um, sure, fair enough. Um, History of chess is a long <laughs> in storied affair. Long and storied, usually named after, you know, great cities and random Italian and French guys. But one guy snuck in there, Hillbilly. Yeah. And uh, there you go. Not a Gioco piano. Um, Is there still stuff, by the way, you can make? Like, by the time you're done chess, Hikaru, can you get a Hikaru? Can you sneak one in there? Can you sneak Hikaru no, in there? I, I mean, there might be some, like, some minor variation you could consider, something like that. But no, there will be no major change. I, I the think OB they might name the Bong long. Cloud after you at some point. It's all branding. So all you have to do is just play it every single time, and they'll call it the Hikaru. Right. As long as you keep winning. Yeah. Right, but I won't win after the first time. That's the only <laughs> problem. <laughs> okay, yeah, that is a problem. Uh, all right, well, okay, we've got we've got some games actually rolling along now, and looks like Hoftor's got his stream going. Let's listen into the mountain for the first time today and check in with my boy, my student. Absolutely crazy. Holy shit. Uh, okay, 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 it didn't start well, uh, but it's going well now. He's taking the center. Uh, I'm just going to castle... I'm just gonna castle here. Uh, I like that. I like that. I like castling. Yep. He doesn't Bringing do my pieces to the center. Uh, staying calm. <laughs> he does this staying in our lessons. <laughs> <laughs> he does this in our least. lessons too. He's calm super good. He's super good at giving <laughs> insight into exactly what he's thinking. Oh my god. <laughs> what? 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 Okay. He seems All very right. calm. Um, <laughs> He's gonna like mm -hmm. break something after that. <laughs> You're gonna w, break a thumbs human. up. Very I'm calm, sorry. Half Thor. Very calm. Uh, absolutely <laughs> fine. That's absolutely anyway, fine. What I was gonna say is he's very good at giving insight into exactly what he's feeling. He does this in our in the where he just says, "Gotta be calm." Mm -hmm. Got to be patient. Got to take a breath. Got to see the whole picture. These are the things he says out loud a lot. Yeah. Maybe he'll bring in like the uh, like the Eddie Hall technique and just get his mental state into like the darkest point to whip out his secret chess skill. Oh, what a professional streamer. That's a great. That's a great lineup. 
Okay. Um, I've never seen him with hair before. Yeah, he's letting it. He's letting it grow. Uh, wow, looks good. That's that quarantine cut. Similar beard to myself. Both, uh, both Nordic. Me and him. Okay. <laughs> Where is he specifically from? Uh, Iceland. 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 Oh, he found a great move, by the way. Bishop G five is a fantastic move as well. Yep. Let's uh. Let's talk is about why it's crazy to that take we're D5. both like Nordic and my blood did this to me and his blood did that to him. <laughs> like that's that's weird, right? We came from the same land. Yeah. Our let's ancestors... just say let's just say you did not win the genetic lottery. <laughs> yeah. Something happened. Like which one of my <laughs> grandfathers fucked up? I don't get it. <laughs> why, why did this happen to me, guys? <laughs> hey dude, I was born with a receding hairline, so I'm right there with you, man. Go yeah. while you have it. Yeah, 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 I guess. Um, uh, what do we think about the board here, Hikaru? What are we both thinking here? Because I'm thinking... Very you, you complicated. Yeah. Like, the, the I think what uh, I would expect Wagamama to play is probably... Oh, he goes back that way. Because the white can remove the knight with the bishop and then capture this pawn on d5, potentially. Because right now, black guards it with the knight. So if you can get rid of that knight, then you can capture this pawn. So it's very complicated. Hard to judge. Yeah. Now, it, their ratings seem high. Do you think Half Thor is better than XQC? Is that straight up? Oh, definitely. Definitely. Wow. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, because, ooh, wait, no, Night P5 was played or not? Yeah. It's an odd it move. was. It was. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. That, that's, that's a strange move. Um, but yeah, what I was going to say is so with Half Thor, um, I think it was, it was probably a month and a half ago, I gave him a lesson. I was very surprised because. I assumed he was very new to the game, but he clearly has studied at least a little bit. And even if he doesn't know like the names of the terms and the concepts in English, um, he definitely ha has a background with playing chess. And he even mentioned this that um, when he wasn't when he wasn't lifting, like during some of his breaks, he he would play chess against some of the other other lifters who he who he was friends with. Yeah, I was watching. You guys were in a position. And I think you had advantage. And then he said, "Let's draw." And you said, "Okay." <laughs> right of so course he's, he's drawn against a gm before that's impressive yeah. well he's a hard we guy to say happen otherwise hard guy to say <laughs> no to yeah well he, he brings the knight right back which is actually the, probably the best move he could do after a knight to b5 he just comes right back and now we'll we'll see if he recognizes this uh oh mm -hmm. he didn't still very unclear though very 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 hard position to judge one thing that I will say that's odd about this game, unlike a lot of the other games that we've seen so far, is the position where the pawns are. Um, to use yeah. the XQC phrase, it looks a lot like art. The pawns are all kind of similar. There aren't many open lines, and pieces are going to be yeah. coming off the board very quickly. So it's, mm -hmm. it's a very dry position. Let's check in with Waga. We haven't done that yet. Talk a little about Nicholas. He, uh, he became a big fan of chess in 2018. He covered the world. He followed the world championship. And for those who don't know, he's actually been the commentator for the official Dota World Chess Championship. Um, I think a, a, a couple times. So, anyway, let's check in with Nicholas. See how he's doing. Got a, got a great looking background behind him. It's it's wallpaper, by the way. I confirmed it's that. Not too many squares to move it that too. Looks like brick. <laughs> it's fancy. You you could he you could change your squares. background up a little <laughs> he's bit. He's not trapped or anything, Ludwig. but. He doesn't have too many well, aggressive ideas. The, day, the G and the H the site, and the like F said, are all blocked. Nine twenty, and it's just like an okay. unmade bed. He's attacking my. <laughs> it can He's look attacking pretty, my but it uh, knight and also attacking. Yeah, true. Attacking the um, the D pawn, so it's under attack by both the the queen, the, the bishop, and the queen, the bishop, and the knight, which is kind of scary because I'm only covering it twice. I think I will take out this bishop. Let's think for that a little a bit. Tiny web it's fine to use sometime. <laughs> yeah, we are stretching it. Seems a okay to me. Yeah, very balanced position though. Even though black's up to one pawn, his pawns are overextended in the middle of the board, so it's very uh yeah, very, very hard to play. He has an attacking idea here still, because he can take my... Um, take my knight out. 
His rating seems like one of the highest in the tournament. So he can still do the attack. Um, I think I think he might be the highest seed. I don't know. Danny Danny could confirm I think that. We're but just I think gonna castle. Is probably Wait, the highest. Right? I, I get I out think of he harm's way. Is now. Uh, he might win this pawn when we set back. the groups for scheduling on Monday. If I castle he and he takes here. But, but I take he has. Here, Nicholas has has and... literally been streaming chess for several hours every day this week, and wow. so he's okay. he's de he's gained 150 points just this week. So, he's wow. got full box box. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. And he said he was going to. It was funny because we had I had trouble getting a hold of him. I knew he's a, I knew he was going to play a huge chess guy. But when he accepted the invite, he didn't get back to us for a few weeks. And then he was like, "No, I'm going to stream every day." And he did. And now he now he's he's really improved just over the last few days. So. Yeah. So I mean, position is very again very balanced here. Black is yeah. one extra pawn, but everything is weak in the center. Yeah. If if, if Hofthor sees this, I mean, he can. He can. Okay, he. I don't think he realizes. I mean, clearly Waga did. He pointed out a lot of times he knew that he had pressure, but Hofdor is not seeing currently the idea of getting this getting this d5 pawn back. Or he's just smarter than you, Danny, and he wants to trade and then capture the pawn on <laughs> d5, followed by capturing the pawn on e4. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's also possible. There are a lot shocked of people on this show smarter shocked. than me. What? <laughs> I'm shocked you missed that, Danny. <laughs> the idea. <laughs> Of this is true because what Hikaru is saying is if you go for this at the end of the line, you actually lose the B2 pawn anyway. So this is not bad, Hikaru. Fine, okay. Um, <laughs> but uh, but okay, we'll we'll see. But the biggest thing here is look how much time Waga is taking. Actually, he's already under four minutes. Yeah, that yeah. Is actually, crazy. this is true. Mm -hmm. I think it's just but... overthinking tournament nerve stuff. I, I think yeah. you know it doesn't matter if you play eight hours a day. It's different when you play in the tournament. Uh, and the one game matters. I'm laughing because Hoftor just can't decide where he wants his webcam, and he keeps changing the position. <laughs> yeah, the producer's constantly having to change the camera yeah. angle. He's working hard over there. <laughs> He's he just, just throwing uh, him off. He just slammed his head on the table because because Hoftor decided to move his camera again. Yeah, this is a... Uh... You know, one thing I would add, having given Hafthor a lesson, is he's very, very good, but he tends to move too slowly. And so the fact that he's not, he's not yeah. behind on the clock is very promising for him. Because usually yeah. when I've seen him play, he thinks too much and he has too little time. Yeah. Um. So right and now he's up like two and a half minutes. Because of that, Hikaru, in our, in our last lesson that he and I did, I think it was on Monday, I pushed him to, uh oh, uh oh, oh. Um, I pushed him to play some Blitz in case he reaches a tiebreaker because because he is a slower player. But uh oh, mm -hmm. that that move walks into this if Waga sees it. Yeah, well, I mean, if he's if he's playing four or five hours every day, he probably should see it. Whether he will see it, I don't know. I feel like the whenever you play a game against someone, it's very cyclical. Like, if, if they play slower, you play slower. Mm -hmm. And then if they play faster, you play faster. But there's, like a, there's like a rhythm that forms, and it's hard to pull out of, unless you have a scene you can switch to with pictures of Chris Moneymaker. <laughs> right. <gasps> Waga sees it. Ah, uh, ouch. Yeah, this is going to be tough. Let's see what he thinks. A little concerned about that face. Uh, he's a massive human. You could have a really good commercial for a Ford truck if you just put them in like a Toyota Corolla. <laughs> <laughs> and just went, yeah, yeah, this doesn't work out. He's what six seven, right? I think. Do that or six nine? I have to wiki it. Yeah. Either way, yeah. Either way. That is crazy. You can just Google how tall he is, huh? Six nine, yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> Can't believe there's a taller chess player than me. <laughs> Got an idea though. Okay, found Bishop H6. I like the idea at least. Yeah. Yeah, we have confirmation. He's 6'9. Crazy, crazy copy man in the chess TV chat confirmed. 6'9. Wait, is he 452 pounds? No. Probably. 
Yeah. I mean, the Googled weight, I, I'm sure it fluctuates when you're eating that much, <laughs> like day to day. <laughs> I just don't know that it fluctuates by that much. Uh... Two hundred and five kilograms. Six nine four twenty. Right. What? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> He's six foot nine, four hundred twenty pounds. All right. Six nine four hundred twenty. In two thousand nineteen, he was three hundred seventy nine when he won the world's strongest man. Yeah. Wow. So that's what I'm saying. Shout yeah. out to the Chess TV Wait, chat. Fluctuates. Yeah, so I mean, right now, yeah, Wagamama is doing very well. I think this night move is very pesky. Um, I feel like probably Wagamama, the fact that he's seeing these tactics shows that he has played a lot in the past. This knight h5 move is very, very annoying to try and yeah. hit the white queen. And it's not the move that I would expect most uh, most um, newer players to play. I would expect them to like move a bishop back or something. So, Agreed. Yeah. No, he's, Waga's playing well. We go confirmation six nine four twenty nice okay we'll see if waga finds this move f5 that would be a little nutty oh that's really nasty well, well what on to f5 it's a fork the rook oh, and the queen. it's the same problem that he had the first time right on right the, uh... except here it's even it's even worse it's a queen and a rook yeah there's also knight back which also forks the queen and the rook as well yeah, what do you call that? Because I that comes up a lot in chess. It's probably the most I feel like common tactic that comes up. It's is a like, fork. fork. Or just a, just straight up fork. Okay. Yeah, fork, fork is when jump. you attack two pieces with one piece, and no matter when you move one, you're gonna lose the other one. I think specifically the pawn one I feel like comes up a lot and yeah. might be the harder one to see, as yeah, opposed but, to like everybody sees the knight one. No one misses right. it. Right. Right. Well, and the and the pawn one is one that literally kind of gave it its name. You can visualize the fork, right? Uh, I see the fork in the road. Yeah. A knight too. I mean, if the knight's here and you've got this kind of, you can see. Oops. Apparently, I can't draw, but that's a fork. It's like more like a trident. Yeah, that's some ASU stuff. All right. Uh, well, well, the I, one thing that, that one thing Hopper is going for him is the clock, though. Now look at this move, rookie five. Yeah, the, cl rookie. the clock. Oh my gosh, one minute. And this is a good move. He's he's threatening to take the knight. Let's check out what Blog is saying. <laughs> Apparently not a lot. I feel like they both haven't said a word in the past <laughs> five minutes. <ago. laughs> You're a, an emotive player, uh, Hikaru. Yeah. Yes, I feel like definitely. when you play. Do you talk to yourself? Oh, um, I sometimes I, I do. Usually, usually not. I mean, there's a difference because over the board chess, when you're in person, like the IRL, you can't talk during the games. Like online, certainly you can because there's no one mm -hmm. else around. Um, so sometimes I do, but generally, generally, I mean, I'm just the thoughts are going. I think I fucked up, but not really what sure if I go? You do the stream thing where you like look down, then you look up, and then you like use your fingers, and Shit, then you like dude. count seventy moves. Well, out. I do. I do that regardless. And Danny could probably actually talk to us as yeah. well. So, like, it's just a general like. It's just a general like recall thing. I wouldn't even matter if it's chess, but I think it's just something with like the pattern recall uh -huh. that like a lot of people do, right, Danny? A, a lot of players do it. It's actually a. I've, I've joked about it a lot, it but it's okay. actually a. Uh, it's it's the same reason people look away when they lie because you're you're accessing a part of your brain which stores like memories and imagination. And so, like, top players, Hikaru's not the only one. Like, often when they're calculating something that's not present to their eyes, you're actually accessing, like, memory, and it's something that you do naturally. So, like, you're... Yeah, it's a it's a real brain science thing, so... Yeah. So, so you're doing this when you play uh, play uh, Among Us, right? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Immediate threat, uh, though? Yeti oh, was... Take it. Uh, time's getting really scary. I, I look at Hoftor. Hoftor knows he, his only chance is the clock. I don't think there's any immediate way he can lose from checkmate either, right? I mean, yeah. This, this no, is... no. Oh, that was a good team? move, though. Oh, that was a good move, Bishop A3. Oh, no. He tra oh, no. Uh, He's going to lose now. Why? He had so much time, I feel like. I don't understand why he made those moves so But it's, quick. isn't it what you said before, Ludwig, yeah. about like this, this cycle where it's like when you're when the other guy's moving fast, you move fast. When they're moving slow, yeah. you move slower. It's just like, yeah, you're feeling it's the, the rhythm. It's like but a merry-go-round. 
easy game that could have been four half. I mean, I guess you don't want to give your opponent time to think on your move, but he had five minutes and he took four seconds to make two blunders. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah, I think that was that. That's also why, like, I, I've stressed before with the players and pog champs, like, you don't want to play a lot of these blitz games because it's not natural. Like, making these moves instantly, you're much more likely to make a mistake when you don't don't think at all. Yeah, I will say the one beef I think I have with pog champs format. 10-5 specifically is that there's no immediate game on the chess website that lends itself to it because there's 10 mm. oh mm -hmm. uh which you get no extra time and there's 15 10 which is way longer uh outside of that that's you can true make a custom queue. yeah that's uh that's pretty fair feedback right there yeah because 10 is technically blitz right right mm -hmm. it's like the the longest blitz i mean we could go 15 10 it would just be that would people still play i guess slightly longer games but uh yeah i mean I, I i'm not sure what the solution is it's just interesting yeah. that that's the the pro a present problem we might have to add it the pog control i mean obviously you, know, you can play it but it's not a what you're saying is it's not a quick button yeah you, it's yeah. not a quick button there might not be people in queue as well right because people are more likely to queue the ones that are automatically set for them right yeah and so my, I, is the Tenno even popular or more popular than like 10-5? Like, I feel like no. Oh, Tenno is much more popular. Yeah. Really? yeah no Tenno is, is actually no the most popular, popular time control than... on the site. Oh, well, is that just because the site offers it or is it just like chess? It thing? is partly because it's the default suggestion for new players. I see. So it, it is the most popular, but it's also very popular amongst established players. Um, the most popular time control amongst uh, like 2,000 and up ratings is 3-0. Added time so, is less popular. Is that it? Yes. yes. But really? but Danny, you should just add that to the queue. You should make ten five just a normal control. Yeah, we can. Uh, that's yeah, good feedback. By the way, Waga, clean that up there. Wow. And that was, I I think <sighs> you, you made a good point. Obviously, Lud just that he was playing too fast. But the difference between yeah. someone like Hikaru who could use a time advantage versus others, like you don't have to give up the rook on B two. Like if you make problems and keep the game going, he might have actually had a chance. He only had seventeen seconds, mm -hmm. right? So hundred percent. As soon as you start playing only moves, you also make it obvious for your opponent what the best move is to respond, right? And then, then that then that adds back to their time. Now they're gaining time, right? So anyway, that could have been a closer finish than it was for sure. He had such a large advantage that any move he did, even if it's a blunder, would have been fine because it yeah. just adds time to his clock and he's ahead by mm -hmm. so many pieces. Right. right. All right, well... <laughs> Lucky for Thor, we've got another game here, right? He still has a chance to tie this thing. Give us, give us a tiebreaker. But um, we uh, he played well. I think he beat my ass in game and out. Yeah, yeah. Beat I mean, it'd be a close over... fight to be clear, but I think he'd take me. It's I like think it. he's reflecting a little bit. Let's let's see how he's feeling. Thanks, Complore, appreciate the champ. Uh, that was the first game, guys. Um, rough game, I lost it. I absolutely fucked this one up. Uh. I got nothing. <laughs> positive thinking. Absolutely agree, guys. Let's, let's, let's be positive. Wholesome chat. Shit. Stay positive, Hopdor. Stay positive. Is wearing a strongman shirt like Hikaru wearing a chess player shirt? Like strongman. Yeah. Chess player. <laughs> yeah. Imagine Hikaru just wears a shirt that says chess player. Because it's not even that he's the strongest man. It's like he's saying strongman, chess player. Like labels. Yeah. Let's label people. What would be your label, Lud? Uh, uh, is streamer. Streamer or, or biggest chess player of all time. <laughs> <laughs> all right okay here we go we've got d4 in a london so this is the levy touch hikaru i warned you of this levy was throwing mm -hmm. the uh the london system to a lot of his students right he's been teaching london he's also been teaching yeah I, he's been teaching everyone d4 i hate it i he's ruining the game right <laughs> d4 is cheese e4 is the truth yeah, uh, and I, I've had this philosophy for a while, and tell me if I'm dumb, but on black, especially when they play like this, can't you just copy everything white does to like move eight? 
like he's doing now? Not exactly, because what White should do is push the pawn from C2 to C4. Um, so if White pushes that pawn, Black can't really copy because you're going to end up in a situation where you're behind by one move for your development. Sure. Right. But if they don't but if do White that. doesn't, if White isn't aggressive, then yes, you can just basically copy, play copy. And the moment they're aggressive is when you're at the stop. Right. I see. Mountain's still playing fast though. That's good. I mean, if he he could he could continue to copy at this point. He could also vary now. Maybe offer the ch yeah. oh, very nice. He does plays bishop d six. I like it. I feel like this is the one of the most common positions. I feel like I see when they start yeah, especially with D4. for the d four kind of London players, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's it's I mean pretty pretty standard so far. I, I like yeah. that he takes with the queen, doesn't take with yeah. the pawn. But yeah, very very slow game. This is gonna. I would say what for Wagamama though. I think he just should not use way too much time here because it, it's gonna be hard to um hard to think of a lot of ideas here. So I would just play quickly and play naturally with White mm -hmm. because you don't want to end up way down on the clock again. Is there an incredibly resident sleeper opening that you know is just gonna be a slog of a game? Um, I mean, probably the the London this London system is one of them. Uh, what else? So you're calling you Levy a boring player? Maybe it, it, maybe an exchange yes, French. Yes, <laughs> like an, ex <laughs> wow. an exchange. But French. but but to be fair, the thing is, Levy doesn't actually play these openings. So he's teaching them these openings, but he doesn't play it with White. He doesn't play the okay. London system. Well, part of the part of the appeal led to the London and why Levy does it is because. Now, this is not totally true, but we'll, I'll just over oversimplify and say pretty much White's moves are the same almost every time, right? So what he's doing is he's simplifying kind of the learning curve so that they don't yeah. focus on it. They can focus on the type of middle games that it brings or focus on the type of tactics that it brings, which is, it's not a bad, like, coaching approach. He's just kind of saying, like, he's eliminating the need for complicated nuances and just giving them a position they can play pretty much no matter what Black does, kind of. Not totally I mean, true, that was, but that's that the was, idea. That was Box Box's strategy, I remember. was like, yeah. just to have an opening that he can do every single time, never think about the first six to eight moves, and then he can play chess. Right. Uh, whereas exactly. some people get yeah. hung up on, you know, four minutes in their opening. Because they just don't know what to do, and they're trying to remember. This is a very equal game, though. I mean, this is deadlocked. So. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty bal uh, balanced so far. Okay, I don't know if I like that move. But I, I think, think half the he wants to be active, whereas Wagamon yeah. was trying to play something very slow, very quiet, where not much is happening, very resonant sleeper kind of. Um, mm -hmm. And half I think is getting frustrated by it a little bit. Yeah, I think is this that the is the next system? level. Is that in... kind of like the French? In the yeah, of... in, in a sense. I mean, it's just you play it very, very slow, very, very quietly. And yeah. you wait for your opponent to like get a little bit frustrated, I think. And I think half the playing this knight move is he's a little bit too quick because yeah. there is no threat of a checkmate. The knight guards this pawn on on h two. This is kind of the next level in Hofdor's chess. Remember, he played the knight b five move in the first game. He he does this. We've talked about. It. We're like once he kind of gets out of the opening stage and he doesn't have a plan. This is kind of like his. It's kind of go to. He does the knights to the edge. He also goes for like a knight and bishop, going for f seven a lot. I think that that'll be the next thing when we go over lessons is like giving him different plans that aren't just kind of superficial threats. Like you know, get your pieces out and build strength. Like learn how to gain space in the position, which is I talked to him about space being strength. If you can gain space with your furthest advanced pawns, you have more options for your pieces. That's the next thing we're gonna work on. I think yeah. one advantage is that it's although maybe a superficial threat taking two minutes of time up that's true uh, because there right. are big mistakes you can make in response and so wagamama doesn't want to make them uh and so he's thinking maybe a little too hard but now there is a trick maybe black and bring the knight out you mm -hmm. see it already danny i'm yep. sure like knight c6 white tries to play a move like pawn to h3 to remove the knight from the square and black play knight takes pawn boom boom and that's that would be a little bit, you know, next level for Hofdor to see. But if he just develops naturally, he could kind of fall into it. And, and of course, Waga could play a move like this, which might be his idea to sort of block the diagonal. But a nice c6 is a good move. It's a tricky move. Yeah, I like it. Oh, but so you're I pretty good at this chess commentary yeah. thing. 
You know, look, I, I just see the moves. I let Hikaru say them. That's kind of our thing, you know? Right. Like sometimes then, I'll just DM them. And then like, I get to highlight them. Yeah, you highlight. <laughs> I DM Hikaru what to say. You highlight what he says. I'm like the kid. <laughs> I'm the kid with the coloring book in the classroom. You're the kid who knows the, the answers. Who rolls up with the pouch with 70 pencils and everyone has to borrow <laughs> one. And you have to say yes or we won't be your friend. <laughs> Right. My bad. I never return him. <laughs> All right. Ninety-seven well, played. Yeah, also close. a good move. Close. Yeah. It's it's a, probably a better move. I think I think the thing here is that White has these pawns, uh, these pawns on D three and D four, these two pawns in a row, and they, yeah. they are a little bit vulnerable in the long term because they can't go forward. They're just stuck there. Yeah. Yeah. Anything that attacks. It's, it's so oh. funny, Hikaru, though. If oh, he had played knight c6, there's your h3 yeah. move. That would have been funny. Right. He was one move now, away. Please don't get forked here, is all I'm asking. So, Ludwig, do you see what happens if black moves the knight back to this uh, dark square? Ooh. Okay, good. Well, yeah. That's actually right. So, 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 Danny, make the other move. Yeah, yeah. It would have been a move? pawn fork on e5. Yes, exactly. Because the pawn behind it supports the pawn, and then the queen and the knight are forked, and you're going to lose one of, the, one of them. I think that's the one thing I look to avoid because it does happen. To, like, it happens a lot when you play. Mm -hmm. Is uh just never have them like, I don't know what to call them, two away from each other. Opposition. As the <laughs> right. After right, playing right. well though, and again, still up a couple minutes on the clock. Let's go. Let's listen into Waga. See what he's handling. Guy, I want to keep that tension. My boy tension, Daniel, baby. he was talking about tension a lot during our coaching session. He remembers. I think coaching it was about the tension. This kind of tension. Or uh, sexual. Hmm. Let's get some rooks involved or get the queen. I was thinking about this and he could take. It's not so good for my pawn structure again, though. Let's just get on C file, I think. I want to get my second knight going as well. Can he do something? Can you activate? We're kind of blocking you and then you're blocked here and you're blocked here. You, you really can't do anything. So that's one benefit of moving my queen is my, my uh, knight could come out this way. I really don't want him there, though. I want him here. This knight could go there. Should he go there now? I can tell why he takes a while to make his moves. <laughs> I mean, he's really overthinking he this, though, I would yeah. say. Yeah. Let's just do yeah. this. It can't be that bad. He's definitely the guy who, like, on a math test in high school, uh, I had to do 10 plus 7. This guy's fucking make sure useless. On a calculator. It's unfortunate. <laughs> but this guy, this guy could pep a hop in he here. He never forgets to carry the one. I'll tell you that. The mm -hmm. issue is... Mm -mm. He could take, and then I take with a pawn, but suddenly he can move his queen out, you know, and also, yeah. He doesn't like my pawn there. I'm sorry, but we're going to have a pawn there. Not going to yeah. move just yet, sir. Crash talk? I'm sorry, we're going to have a pawn there. He's getting out of there. It's prison break. He's going to get involved with his rook if I go that way. Now I could push this pawn. I can tell he does commentary. I like the idea of cutting off his queen's diagonal, yeah. dude. Yeah, yeah, the way he talks. He also weakened his king yeah, a little bit there yeah, with that clear. move. I wonder if it slows him down, to be honest. And his pawn push can't do anything if I'm yeah, blocked. Like so. Yeah, I think going here. That's the only reason I don't I like the idea when I stream. Do I have something I'm better? So good at commentary. <laughs> I'm such a good streamer that I can't <laughs> win games. It's such a shame. <laughs> I mean, the thing about taking it is then I give, you know, again, freedom to the tonight on, on this square. He just comes in and takes, so I don't like that at all. Or the rook, you know, whichever. Maybe he finds, yeah, wow. Let's just go here. Finds the move, right? Keck him. Yep. Yeah. Playing well. And now it's hard for him to so do anything about this So the reason it's such a good move is now move. Black has to move the queen, and then the pawn falls falls on the dark square. The queen can no longer guard it, and White will capture with the rook on the next move. In fact, Hofstra doesn't even really have any good choices with the queen. I mean, trading is really not great. Tucking back to e7 feels bad. Yeah, this Kinda is tough. pretty hard to play. Yeah, he's He's deep in thought right now. Mm-hmm. 
Well, it shows you a little bit of the difference between them. I think Waga, we talk, we did talk about the pawn tension. Like once you got this, like just build on it and bring pieces to these squares. We we had a few examples of that. And the difference, I think just difference in chess level. I mean, Thor kind of did that for a while, but eventually sort of broke instead of, you know, bringing more pieces into the game. And that's kind of the big difference right now. So there you go. Still a huge time advantage. Yep. Yeah, I, I mean, I think I think at, at this point, um, he goes back, which is a good move. I think it's a better move because you, you need to keep more peace on the board if you're going to be behind here. Yeah, yeah. But now, I will say the thing with Wagamama, though, is, is, is the explanation, like he's t using these terms that like you would not really expect, expect players to be using. So it's very yep. clear that he's studied quite a bit and he has a very yep. good understanding, like pinning the knight and the queen, like, Yes, he's, yep. he's he's got all he's got it all all going. What's so he did use the term prison break. What's that one usually? What's that? <laughs> that that's <laughs> that was a um, I, I, no no. I I mean, wasn't that just a pawn break? Uh, yeah, it was it was for the pawn move. He called this a prison break, which is <laughs> yeah. That's from a different experience he's had. Okay, sure, <laughs> okay. sure. <laughs> all right, that's Maybe a different a experience. He doesn't like to moment. he doesn't like to talk about that anymore. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, <laughs> but uh, no, but you're right, Hikaru. Despite despite the prison break term, he is using a lot of high level chess stuff. But he's one of those guys who got into chess from watching over the board chess, right? So he comes from like a like he was uh -huh, a fan okay. of watching watching high level chess. So I'm not not surprised, and I I wouldn't be surprised to see him as one of the favorites. Yeah, I mean to win it all, like we said, mm -hmm. his rating just keeps going up. Right. Dominating the file. Ludwig's old job. Dominating the file. Now you now look at you. You're retired. You're commentating on the file instead of dominating the file. I'm washed, man. I'm washed. <laughs> I'm gonna make my Hikaru comeback, all right? I'm gonna I don't know what it'll be for me. I'm gonna find I'm gonna find streaming or something like he did. <laughs> Big comeback. <laughs> Wait, you say I'm washed at chest now? Are you serious? No, 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 no. You were washed. Now you're better than ever, <laughs> baby. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Hikaru drove across the country and then played Magnus in a final. It was, uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I drove across the country because, like, I, I really want to I wanna play mini golf against Ludwig. That, that's, that's the real reason I drove across the Dude, country. Oh, I, would, I would roast you mini golf. You don't understand, man. All right? Every, every day I wait, <laughs> I get better because you're old bones. You have to hunch over. <laughs> I'm going to give you the shortest one. The one, you know, like the ones they have for kids. They're going to run out of the big boy ones. <laughs> okay. You got the hunch well, no, over I'll, I'll, all the way. Yeah, but I can do that anyway. You just you just hold it like really at the top, and you hunch, and you just bend right over and push. What it, is this like... technique? <laughs> no, you know you stand with the Bernhard Langer, whatever oh, his name is, the German guy. He yeah, like yeah, yeah. he puts it. He stand. He holds it at the very top and just You're like bends German all the style. way down. <laughs> yeah. All <laughs> right. <laughs> Look, I'll set up. I'll set up a mini golf course, and we'll we'll duel. <laughs> You're right. For your GM title. <laughs> And I'll put up, uh, I'll give you my uh, stream key. That's all I have of value. <laughs> that's all I have Imagine of value. Hikaru, Hikaru that's just all goes right. that's live all we have, on my yeah. channel. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, how does Black get out of this situation? When he's, it, when is he, he does trading it. If Waga trades everything and takes E6, it's over. Yeah, because the queen is going to be removed from guarding this pawn. And, um, yeah. oh, man. Yikes. Uh-oh. Oof. Oh man, this is just bad news. It's already two pawns. So the other thing is, White has what we call pass pawns. So you see the pawns next to each other in the center on d4 and e5 on the two dark squares. They mm -hmm. have a free passage all the way up the board. There are no pawns yeah. in the way, so they can go all the way to the end of the board. Um, so this is yeah, this is really really bad for Hathor. Speaking of players practicing, though, I just have to point it out because I'm still following him from yesterday's stream, Hikaru. David Pakman has been playing Blitz for the last two hours. I'm just showing his game real quick. He's like, this guy's practicing a ton. We'll go back. But uh, shout out to Pakman who hasn't stopped playing Blitz for all day. Yeah, I mean, I, I, th I think one thing that, that I would say is it feels like uh, the players who are the, the stronger players, they're, they're very, very serious about it, and they're taking it very seriously, which, yeah. which is good. 
Um, so like you see Pac-Man, you see Itafu, um, or you see like even like Grippix, for example, like they're really, really serious about it. So it's, yep. it's going to be a lot of fun to see what happens. And I think unfortunately, like Mizzy Wizzy um, is, is in <laughs> for a very, very rude awakening yeah. soon enough. Yep. I just think the two things everyone could do is look at the opponent's opening because you can just literally chest search their username and find all their games, which is a mm -hmm. crazy feature. It's cool. Uh, yeah. And then also, I think doing puzzles and tactics is what a lot of people do. But I think right. uh, what Charlie did was just do one tactic so he would be able to see it in game. Mm -hmm. it's one thing to just do a tactic and kind of see it if you have like four minutes uh, and it's another to recognize it when it happens in game. If you just do fucking 600 forks like he did, you'll see every fork in game. Yeah, yeah, that that that's a very good point, right? No, it's true. I but I would say also though, it's not. I think some people it's easier to spot the patterns to see it. Like some mm -hmm. people see it, but then like you know, like with XUC, this pattern that he had today has occurred. I mean, at least probably ten times, if not yeah. more. Right. But he, he, like, maybe it's just he's not looking for it, but he's not able to put the pe puzzle pieces together in that same way. Whereas, like, Charlie, I think when he just did it over and over again, it just sort of got internalized in his, in his, his brain. I think it's, but like, it a big thing of the, uh, the Bobby Fischer book. The Bobby Fischer, like, play chess book. He does, like, yeah. 400 back rank puzzles. They're all back rank puzzles, but or at, the, at least at the start. And then you just kind right. of, you'll never miss mm -hmm. a back rank after that. Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah, it's true. And there's just no substitute for the, I mean, sounds cliche, the hard work. Charlie's just literally putting in a ton of time, right? Just mm -hmm. memorizing patterns. It's just the truth. Because I think right before an event, you know, you could argue you want to do more like the puzzle rush style, do things that challenge your time management and just a bunch of different puzzles where you don't, you don't have the, the, the bird on your shoulder telling you it's a back rank because then, then you're challenging your, you know, your awareness and your, and your critical thinking. But, but I think if you're going to put in the time, then you should use that feature where you can be like, I'm only going to solve double attacks all day. That's the theme today. Double attacks, right? Or, right. or, mm -hmm. or back rank. But you know, if you're not like, I told, I told mountain, like we were chatting on discord. He was like, how should I get ready? Should I do a bunch of th like one theme? I was like, actually try to do some other things that are a little more like uh, puzzle rush style. So your, so your clock management is better, but obviously my advice right. went a long way. So. Yeah. I, I like how you say I told mountain. Yeah, I told him what to do. I told him I what told to do. Him mountain, right? Yeah. That's right. Mountain. Uh, he was this super disappointed. We had our first lesson. I said like, "Hey, man, big fan," and he was like thinking it's from the HBO. And I was like, "I've never seen Game of Thrones. I'm one of the two people left. I'm one of the wow. guys." <laughs> Game of Thrones is here. We hype. go. Here comes the it's chat. Here goes Icaro's disapproval. Show. I've never seen yeah, Game of that, Thrones. That's that's a disappointment. That is. Yeah, you've been living under a rock. Ikar, have you seen it? Of course I have, yeah. yeah, yeah. Ikar has seen it. Everyone has. And he sat down and read Dvorsky's Endgame Manual, so it's not like he has leisure time. That he <laughs> well, he, he, you know, Ludwig, to, to be fair, Danny actually literally studied from the guy himself when he spent the, his, right. uh, the best summer really? of his life in Russia. Really? You know, Dvorsky? Dvorsky. <laughs> do you ever bring me up? Like, do you ever, do you ever like... like Don't I, mispronounce... Oh, we have, we have a potential crazy mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it Mother ended eight. The legendary, uh, what is it, Suffocate? It's called Smother, but yeah, exactly. But yeah. Oh, let's check out Thor's stream. The full man, unfortunately. Holy shit. Sorry, man. You should just bench after every single loss. Shit. As a statement. <sighs> that was tough. Yeah, I, I think he was just overmatched. He was, he was just outmatched yeah. in this 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 um, one against Laga. I mean, admittedly, his hardest matchup in his in his group mm -hmm. by far. So I think he did pretty well game one. He was up on time the whole time. So you could still make winners bracket pretty easily. I feel like. Yeah, I I, I think I think for sure. I, I think yeah. it's just yes. Yeah, it, when you play the, also when you play the strongest player and you lose though, I think I think it's better that way because yeah. like you know you play the strongest guy. Like for example, say you're you're playing the other people first, you know you have to win. Because you get yeah. to that final match, if it goes wrong, it's just like, I mean, yep. you, you just know you have no chance. Makes sense. Agreed totally. That'll be his challenge and advice because he already had the toughest game. So, all right, we'll be right back to talk to both the players. So don't go anywhere. Interviews coming up with the Mountain and Wagamama in just a couple minutes. And we're here with the, uh, the strongest man in the world, the Mountain. There it is. Hoftor, it was... Uh, 
these were these were good games today. These were good games today, and like uh, like Ikara was just telling you, it, it seems very clear that Waga is one of the tournament favorites. So I'm glad you seem to be feeling pretty confident, right, about your chances still. Well, yeah, I'm. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit disappointed in myself. Um, but what can I say? He was a tough opponent. He deserves the wins. He played absolutely fantastic. I did my best. I came short, you know. He's the better man today. I just have to keep grinding, um, get some more tips from uh, my my best friend, Higaru. I think he's what? hiding something from I me. I thought I was your coach. <laughs> you haven't even uh, watched Game of Thrones. How can you be his favorite? I am I am his coach. <laughs> Uh, he said his, his best friend, best friend, and best, coach friend is best friend, Daddy. best friend is different. Yeah, best friends are different. Yeah, yeah. I just like, like, like I, I, I like to, room, like, by the way, in that best friends, I like to, yes. you know, make like my, like, Hikaru, he's the best, you know, and I like to make him my best friend so I can uh -huh. be as good as him, you know, that's well, that's my end goal. Maybe you're looking for someone slightly like a, a larger chess streamer. If that's the case, then I can also. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe squeeze in there. Would love to teach you a thing or two. About, oh, well, I mean, he's better than you are, man. Well, look, I can at least, I can at least point out something. Uh, game uh, one, game one, you had a huge time advantage. Almost could have won it and then had a couple. You just were playing so fast with five minutes. Yeah. Uh, do you feel like you could have had that game? I felt like I had that game in the back. Yeah. Um, I think when I make the mistake, when I was when I took my queen away. Uh, that was, I think, my blunder. I should have, I should have kept the pressure because he was. I feel like he was uh, probably freaking out because yeah, there was, was a, under time pressure. A lot of pressure going on there. Yeah. I should have just kept the pressure, kept my focus. But I don't know what happened to me. I, 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 um, I backed down, uh, and and I lost the game. You back yeah. down. You started making moves like uh, every second with five minutes on the clock. Is that because he was moving fast too? You felt the need to go fast, or because you didn't want him to think on your clock? Honestly, I think for the future games, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my time. Um, yeah, I think I think if you're in that spot, you go hands up, hands up, and you just don't even touch anything for at least a second, just to make sure that. Like, hey, he has 11 seconds. This is pretty much in the bag. Just don't throw uh, or give him yeah. anything easy. Not even throw. Just give him something easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but still good games. What do you think about, can I ask, the meme? Because every time you're in a game, Twitch chat likes to bring up the fact that they should draw to you immediately, forfeit king round one, or else. Is there any truth to these rumors, mm. these memes? That's actually hilarious. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. I mean, I mean, if 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 my opponent want want to, like, if if they if they if they want to, like, I'm not gonna sure. like. like I mean, you're, you know, not gonna, uh, you're not gonna tell them to. You're not no, I'm not gonna tell them to. But no, like, of course not. But... Like, if they if 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 they feel like they 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 need need the, uh, you know, need some break or they they forgot a meal and break? eat instead right. of eat instead of you know right. playing against me. That's that's fine. That's fine. You know, like, yeah. I'll take the win. You know, I'll take the uh -huh. win is a win. Uh, you after know? you're supposed to you're supposed to go like this and say if they want to, if they want to, they can. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, buddy. Um, yeah. Well, I we're gonna go over your games. I know I'm not your best friend, but I'm your coach, and we're gonna go over your games, and we're gonna learn from this, and you're gonna come back stronger than ever. Absolutely. I'm willing, I'm, I'm, I'm down, you know, I'm here to learn guys. Chess is new to me and I'm here to learn, like, like bring it, bring it. I'm ready. Yeah. I think, right. uh, I think honestly you're a favorite to make a winner's bracket, which is impressive in its own right. So I think, uh, I think that should be the goal for sure. And then see how far you can take it. I appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. And mm -hmm. I, I would also add just one last thing as well. Is it, it's, I think it's really good when you play against the strongest player who's in your group at the start because then there's room to improve, whereas if you play the other players first, it feels like in the last match it's going the other way where you're playing somewhere where you'll lose. So there's the, the, the chances to improve and keep studying and getting better as the event goes on also are, are good. So it's a tough day, but, yeah, it's, it's going to get better. Absolutely. There's a, there's a saying that says it's better to – Start bad and finish strong, then 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 start good and and end bad. What about if you're constantly starting bad and ending bad? 
like me. What's well, that's absolutely. Then, then, then you basically just fucked. Okay, okay. Well, that helps. I appreciate that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all right, man. Seriously, great, great catching games. up with you. More, yeah. more chess lessons coming, and uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend. And don't worry, I'll send you Wagamama's address. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Thank all you, right, guys. Man, see ya. Appreciate it. Bye bye.